But the green baize is not to be compared with the quiet little baize of that maker of artists in South Cornwall, Paul Perrow. Approached from the hamlet with the lovely name of Crumplehorn, the road through Paul Perrow is no more than a twisty lane between neat little whitewashed cottages. An ideal place for the game of hide and seek, which the smugglers in the old days played with the king's officers. Passing under an old bridge, the stream widens out into Paul Perrow Harbour, the hub of the community's industrial life. There, ancient fishermen carry on an ancient calling amid the scenes and sounds of centuries. At low tide, the harbour is the happy hunting ground for myriads of seagulls. Indeed, seagulls and Polpero are inseparable. They're everywhere. And at no time is their plaintive crying stilled, or the air freed from their graceful sweeping flight. The little town has other claims to fame. You probably don't remember the story of the deaf old lady who, when asked if she'd ever seen Paul Perrow, replied, yes, we had one, but it couldn't talk. And talking of parrots, 